In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up onto your site. Um, so that basically, uh, when someone visits your site, you can maybe add them to a newsletter, give away a free report, <clears throat> whatever it may be. Okay, now before I start, um, I do want to mention that, um, obviously I don't know what autoresponder you're using, um, but most of them are the same. You will generate a form, um, and then you will generate some code, and it's a code you need to put into your website, okay? Um, no matter what autoresponder you use, there will be instructions that tell you how to do all of this, okay? Now I'm at um, Earweber, um, Earweber is one of the autoresponders I use, um, and I'm just going to show you how, to, how I create a basic form and add this to the site, okay? So um, if I go to, I'm at sign up forms in, in Earweber, okay? Um, if I click on create a sign up form, okay, and then sign up form, um, this will take me to the page where you can literally um, pick what you want. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's lots and lots of templates um, you can choose. You can even add your own graphics. There's, there's lots of things you can do. Again, um, you know, if you're using Earweber, there, will, there are a ton of tutorials that can walk you through this part of designing the form. I'm not going to show you how to um, you know, design a form because I don't know what type of form you want to use. So I'm just going to create a basic one. Now, I'm just going to go to recreation um, and I'm going to pick something that I saw earlier, this theme here. Obviously, if you remember, my um, website is geared around fitness. So let's just say, for example, um, I wanted to create a, a free report or a, a grab a fitness report and give that away in exchange for someone's email address, okay? So I'm gonna load this template. Now obviously, you can see here you can do lots and lots of different things, but I'm just gonna load this template. Um, and let me see if I can just put a title in. Grab, hold on, your free fitness report. Now, obviously, you're gonna give this more detail. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna, Explain what it is again, but I'm just showing you, you know, how you can you can literally um, <laughs> that looks terrible. Okay, um, it's the wrong size font, it's a wrong color. There's there's lots of things wrong with that. So um, let me see if I can just make it a little bit bigger. Um, I don't want to spend too long doing this because it's not really what it's about. But let me just see if I can at least make it stand out a bit. There we go. So you can see how easy it is to sort of edit the, these fields. Now, what you want to do from here. is save your form, okay, stay where you are, just save your form, get used to doing things like this, I always try to um, save my form, now the form type, okay, it needs to be a popover, you can see here, hovers within the web page, usually unblockable, so basically when someone hits your uh, page, it will pop up, okay, now if we go to the advanced options, we can see how we can set this up, you can have it fade in, select the top, you know, you can see what you can do here, I'm going to go for fade in, and I want this to, to appear after five seconds, okay? So when someone hits my site, after five seconds, the form will appear. Now, you can also set this to display once, always display, or show every few days. I personally would not set it to always display. The last thing you want is, is the pop-up keep appearing, especially if someone comes back to your site or they're browsing your site, okay? So maybe set it to once every seven days, okay? Now again, you can edit all of these. There's lots and lots of things you can do, but this will do for me to show you how to set this up. So what we do now is we go to step two, give our web form a name. So I call this my fitness web form. Um, we'll use a basic version of a thank you page. Actually, I, I do like this one. And uh, basically it shows people how to um, confirm their email address. So I'm gonna choose a smart video version um, and that will do. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. I'm going to go to step three, which is where we will generate our code. Now I'm going to click on, I will install my form, and this is the code we need here, okay? Just copy this code, right click and copy, okay? And once we have done that, we can go to our website. So, I'm going to stick it on my Living Ear Better Lifestyle website, okay? So I'm going to go to my admin area, okay? Then go to SEO settings, and you can see here where you can add the website tracking code. This is where you will paste the code, okay? Then we save that, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, when we refresh this page, the pop-up will appear. And there it is. So you can see how easy this is to do. Now obviously, you might notice on this page we've got the video. 
and we've got the video playing. So I don't know if you want the pop-up to appear while someone might be watching a video. You might want to put a delay on or only put this uh, on, on sites where don't have an intro video. It's really, really up to you. All I will suggest is you have a play around with this. But I'm sure you will agree, this is a very, very easy way to get a website form onto your website.